Next, we're going to use the piano keyboard to add some bass notes to our sections A and B. So go up to the top left hand and tap on the instrument browser. That's the square with the two small squares on either side. And we want to select Smart Piano again. So this is going to add another keyboard track to our piece. And we have our chord strip view, but we want to use the keyboard this time. So if you look along the middle of your screen on the right hand side, there's a red chord strip button. If you tap that, the button will turn white and your piano keyboard should appear. Next, we're going to set our volume so that we can only hear the track that we're recording at the moment. So we're going to go up to the tracks view, which is the button in the top left that looks a bit like a brick wall. And now you can see both piano tracks. But we don't want to hear the track that we've already recorded while we are recording our new one, because that can be a bit distracting. So we're going to slide out on the middle of this gray bar down the side. You can swipe to the right to reveal the individual track volumes. So if you take the empty piano track that we've just added and tap the headphones there to turn those yellow, you'll see that your chords that you've already recorded will turn grey. So we're not going to hear those at the moment, but we will hear them again when we turn the headphones off. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the small keyboard in the top left and that will take us back to our piano keyboard view. And we're going to select section A. So we'll tap the plus sign. Select section A. And we're going to practice and then record our bass notes for section A. So the notes for this are starting on C3 and moving left, it goes C, B, A, G, like this. Okay, so I'm trying to use a different finger for each note. So that I can play it more quickly because we have to, again, play in time with the beat. So if I play the beat... It goes C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G. Okay, so I'm going to play that pattern, those four notes, four times, and that will fill my section A. So before I record, I need to check that my arrow is at the beginning, so I'm going to tap return. I'm going to tap record, listen to my counting of four, and then playing on the beat, I'm going to record that music. Okay, three, four, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G. And I can hear it played back to me. If you want to re-record, remember to tap return so that you're at the start of the section before you record again. Okay, so have a go of that.